So, hey guys, Chauce here. So, World Cruise PvP portion is over. But I want to make one more video about it since the first video was just talking about myself. And of course to me that's the highest priority, but there was a lot of other good people. And not so good people, but whatever. Going really hard this event, so I want to give showcases and shoutouts to all of them. Uh, also this stock was made by the fantastic Two Shanks, and I'm using it in this video just to uh, easily showcase all of the five different groups. Uh, this, we'll start with the Robin group, I talked about it a bit. The main thing I wanted to add about it is the fact that uh, I said this in the, my last video that I think I got the highest second high score. And when you check the other ones pretty quickly, you see not even 30k there. A bit over 30k there. Over 31k here, but not as much as me. And over 30k here, so... Indeed, I finished second overall in Roll Cruise. But I did not win, because the first in Robin is the number one. So yeah, it's very feels bad, man. I think I'll be sour about this for some time, but nothing you can do, just move on. And yeah, nothing more to say about Robins, let's do them in order. Luffy. And yeah, Luffy looked like a joke in the beginning. In the beginning, it was just LS going hard and nothing challenging him. But then something happened and it actually got really tight. And we had a Five man race basically, eventually. But in the end, uh, a Skypea player won. So, yeah, GG's to them. Uh, not sure if there's that much more to say, but like, Alice is a great person. Prokamik, good grinder. Very weird person, don't tell him I said that. Uh, Supreme is a name that pops up. He did a great job here. And Dip is an old teammate of mine. So, GG's for sure. Uh, moving on to Nami. Uh, I've, this, Nami is probably the most competitive overall in this World Cruise. Like, just look at that top 10. It's also the only top 10 with only global players. Also shoutouts to Two Shanks, who is two mushrooms here, managing to scrape by into the top uh, 10, basically last minute, so really good job. Also good shoutouts to two former PN teammates, not so sure if Sets was there then, but Nature here was, I think. Also two AF players here, Boonus Noob was top for a long time in this, one of the competitors. Alien joined pretty late when AF did that late push. We'll talk a bit about that a bit later, I guess. Uh, one is one here. I have quite a bit of history with one is. Also another aid member. Aid won three of these, including mine. So really good job. I have no real issues with him. He's a really solid overall competitor. He was also with me in Robin last time, so we're both back. Or I'm back in Robin, he's in Nami now. Of course, we're not competing with each other. So, yeah. Not sure there's anyone more today. Uh, Scotsy, of course, in LT. Also played really hard for the whole event. And I'm happy he managed to clutch out second eventually. Will have been fun if he got first, but what can you do? Uh, we talked about Robin, so let's move to Sanji. And yeah, Sanji had uh, number one in the global in-game stay. And you might wonder, like, if stay is number one in-game, why is he be behind me and Sonis in World Cruise points? And that's because of what I talked about in my earlier video. Uh, Sonis lost a ton of games on purpose. We're talking like 100 games worth of games just losing games that I had to copy. So that means we could earn those points back. So that's why me and Sonis had so many more points. And I hated having to do that. I hate that Sonis was on my team, but what can you do? 
But yeah, sure, they did well. And I, he's also on a Discord, I mean, so I got to know him. So he's definitely legit. He's definitely one of the best grinders this game has ever seen. Probably the best grinder in the game right now. He's great in everything. He's won everything. Like, yeah. We also have complete A domination here with 8 getting the top 3. Shoutouts to Cossack from tier A here. He's in tier A2, I think. Never really talked with him before. And yeah, he just went hard and managed to pull it off. So GG's there. That AF person there, Lord Tenth, is Rissy, which is number one in Bounty on Global. A bit of a meme character, which is pretty funny since you'd think the number one Bounty player would be more respected, but let's just say that uh, he, he doesn't act like a rank one player, to say the least. But I personally don't mind him. I think Rissy is a fun person. But yeah, stay in first here. Finally, in Sorrow, we have, uh, like, for me personally, I being in Robin, like, I'm of course mostly upset about what happened with me for obvious reasons. I've already said this. Final three hours or so, AF decided they wanted to help how and basically all the players in AF, and they put up a, uh, one man defense teams which are usually hard to find but they managed to get, set themselves up so they were all very close to each other and then you are very high in rank and very close in points it's actually pretty realistic to find one man defense teams I'm actually pretty afraid this is going to be heavily abused in the future so yeah like at least three teams is good for everyone but one man defense teams is not good for everyone, it just helps a very select few. And knowing how AF approaches things, I think this will be their new standard tactic. Like they've won pretty good PR I'd say by doing the free defense wins in Super PvP. But we'll see if that continues when they start doing one man defense teams as well. Honestly I think one man defense really sucks but if Tyrol Cruz strat is the same for next year, maybe we'll collude to do one man defense, which I don't want to do. But the system really sucks. Like, what can you do? Like, it really needs to be changed. The World Cruise PvP was a disaster from a competitive standpoint. But yeah, uh, how went from basically nowhere up to first in a relatively short period. And then we have my old alliance leader, Uanu. Who I've had many disagreements with. I've had him blocked in Discord for quite some time. But I actually decided to unblock him now because he actually did a good effort and he seems to have matured a bit. So that's good on him. And he was first for a while, managed to climb up to second, and then got it all taken away by how. So yeah, people felt re really bad for him. And yeah. Like, I have some respect for how how to actually is a good player. Done like a lot of good things, and uh, I'm not really going to criticize it either. It's just what I've been saying that AF has this knack for like doing things in such a way that yeah, it turns out great for them, but they end up screwing so many people, so people just get upset. Like, take for example, if we go back to. Uh, now I'm here with Bundesnoob. Bundesnoob also a great farmer, probably the most consistent in the game right now. He was top 10 most of the time, and he used the one-man defense, and like that didn't help many people. So it was mostly a waste of time, so he could leech from all the others using free defense, he didn't help. Nobody in AF ever helped with free defense this World Cruise until the final three hours when they colluded with themselves. So, yeah, at that point things were pretty stable. You usually don't do such things late, but yeah, they did it and they managed to help two of their teammates. They just screwed over a lot of other people who got upset and 
Yeah, I'm sure many people are going to call it like call us crybabies, whatever. I don't really care. But I'm just trying to explain why uh, a lot of the competitive community have issues with this alliance. But yeah. Uh, as said, I've also had some like with my experience with A this time means I'm also pretty negative towards them. But we'll see in the future what happens. Uh, they aren't on my trust list, if we say the least. I had some uh, weird stuff happen in terms to A this time. Thankfully, weird stuff like this can only happen in PvP, like for treasure map. It's very fair. Just do your own thing. Grind. Whatever you get, you get. And Kisuna, a bit more team element, but not that big anyways. It's just in PvP where there's a lot of potential meta strats where you can really screw people over. In the others, it's just about being good enough or in Kusuna, having enough potions. Because all we know, because we all know that the real skill element in OPTC is having as many Kisuna potions as possible. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I'll be back on Wednesday with Royal Cruise when Treasure Map starts. See ya. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.